ADA, we start with daily charge. Just I wanna give a quick update. And as you can see, still we are within this daily correction. And we mentioned if we get any opportunity for buy, we'll take it. But we mentioned we have to wait for the trade setup and mostly we have to look for trade setup based on lower time frame because we can expect that when the price drop to one. By the way, we're looking for buy, we're looking for the reversal. The way the market is moving is very corrective. And if you move to forward chart, and right now we're looking at this correction. All right, we want to see the breakout of this correction before we take the next trade. And any opportunity for buy, we will take it and we can look for 1.53 following by 1.62 as a target, but how to look for trade, all right? Because at this point, we don't see any trade setup yet. And either, the, technically, when we see this kind of the movement, we prefer the price for a drop, at least we see the breakout of this correction before we see the reversal. Because, but the question is, if the price gives us one more drop with the breakout of this correction, following by divergence is the best we can look for. Then in that case, even we can expect the price tag the lowest price of this correction, right? The possibility for this one happen is very less because if it's happened, we can expect the price even drop to one, right? Then how to look for trade? At this point, I don't see any trade setup. Mostly we have to look for trades uh, breakout of this correction. This is the best before we look for the reversal. But if the price continue and break this correction from the top, we have to wait for the next flag or correction before we take the trade, right? But for me, I prefer at least the price tag or break the lowest price of this correction following by divergence before we look for the reversal, right? To make it very simple, at this point, we don't have any trade setup. We have the different option to look for. But uh, as I said, we have to wait. And we are not really interested to look for sale. We're looking for buy. And right now I'm looking at this in relative to what I have here for the next drop. That's mean if I want to look for trade, I wait for the next drop even if the price couldn't break this correction, then any reversal from there, I will take it. And I'm considering we are trading within the correction. And if I move to one hour chart, it will be more clear. All right. Now, the best things at this point, based on one hour chart, I will look for if I see the next drop. Then from there, I will look for the reversal. We don't need to see the breakout of this correction. As long as we get one more drop, the price tag, the lowest price of this one, then any reversal from there, I will take it. All right. How about if the price continue from here? How we can look for trade? The best thing is we see the breakout of this correction before we take the next trade. We see the breakout flag of correction before we see the next trade. I don't think we can get a really good opportunity to look for buy within here, all right? And if anyone, if the price continue from here, the only way we can look for trade if we get the correction here. Then from there, maybe we can consider to put over entry above the top. But at this point, from what I can see right now, I'm expecting for the next draw. All right. By the way, we don't see any trades at top, either for buy or sell. We are more interested to look for buy, as I mentioned earlier. The only thing is we have to wait to see the breakout of this correction before we take the next trade. Any trade within this correction, we consider as a short-term trade. And in this case, we just follow the chart. If I see any update, I will share. Thanks.